Okay, so we're quite close to his tail now, so we can take a few shots. Now run, 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 run! Ah! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. Um, in this part we're going to carry on searching through the new doors that we can unlock now with the new key that we've got. The um, I think this one is the helmet key and there's a door I know for sure is a helmet door so we're going to head towards that. It's the one where we got the sword key a long time ago. In that room where it was there was a door down the end of the corridor that's got a helmet key. Um, symbol on it, so I think we have to go upstairs. If we look at the map, we're by the stairs, so if we go up the stairs on the map, and then yeah, I think I know where I'm going. <laughs> we'll soon get there. And also, I've noticed as well that there's, the zombies have gone a lot more quiet. I mean, there's loads of zombies around here recently, and they're all missing now, so I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if Barry's been going on a killing spree. Okay, we got a crazy zombie there coming towards us. Um, I need to go. I think we need to go towards him actually. Go past. I'm just going to run towards him. Hopefully, run past him. Let's just give this a go. Okay, that actually worked. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> um, now we have to go this way. Okay, coming back this way. That zombie's going to be a real pain now because he's going to be right in front of us down quite a long corridor there. Yeah, here we go. This is the room I was looking for. So, this is where we came a long time ago, and we got the sword key from the ground there. And at the end of this corridor, there should be a door. It's got a helmet. Okay, you use the mansion key. Cool. And I think there's also another door we need to unlock in the hall on the ground floor. Because there's still a door down there that we've never been through. Right, so I don't actually know what this room is. Let's have a little check. Um... Got a weird camera angle, as always. Looks like we got some herbs on the ground there. And um, we'll pick up... Okay, there's quite a few herbs, so we'll just pick up one for now, because we might need the... the inventory space. There's some weird noises going on. Down the end of the corridor. I think this, is that a door in front of us? No, it's not. It's just a, um, a pattern on the wall. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got the snake chasing us again. I was wondering when we are going to see him again, so let's climb down the ladder. We need to get away from this snake, I think. I think it's going to be another fight, isn't it? Let me just open the map and... Yeah, it's like a big open room, isn't it? So we're going to have to fight him in here. Once again, I'm stuck with the pistol, fighting the snake, as we, as we were last time. So stick, stick by his tail. It seems like if you aim in his general direction, you do hit him. So maybe it's not a bad idea, actually, to chase him around in circles. And just constantly shoot his tail, you know, around this bookshelf. You know, that could work. I think I just completely missed right there. Oh my god, he's right there. He's done a shot off U-turn. Okay, gotta keep our distance as much as we can, really. Let's get behind here and, and reload. Actually, no, we haven't got time for that. Let's make sure we got ammo. Yeah, we got plenty of ammo, really. Right, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Took quite a bit of time to pull the trigger there for some reason. Um, Maybe if we just take him around in a circle in the main room, we might be able to get... Whoa! Oh my god, that was close. Okay, so we're quite close to his tail now, so we can take a few shots. Now run, 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 run! Ah! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> This is, I don't know what it is, but in, like, in real life, I'm shit scared of snakes, you know? If you put a snake in, close to me, I would maybe have a panic attack. So I've got a lot of goosebumps here doing this. Even though it's only a video game, this is scaring me. <laughs> uh, hopefully he won't take too much more bullets. Is he dead? Is, is he stuck? I think he might be stuck. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Okay, he's gone flat again. When he, did, when he went flat last time, that was when he went to his exit. Doesn't look like he is though, it looks like he is still following us. Let's reload quickly. Alright, these camera angles are a killer, right here. I wish when you were in the open area, it just stayed, like, above you. It didn't have, like, three different angles. 
I think he might be in my face. There he is. Done a quick turn there. So he ha I think he's made like that squeal noise once now. And normally when he does that, last time when we fought him, he did that squeal twice and then that's when he, he left. So maybe if he does that again, we know we've beat him. Just hope I've got enough ammo really. Okay, he's coming towards us there. <laughs> he's turned around. Let's reload while we've got some space because I think he's behind the bookcase, yeah. I want to try and bring him around here and come round him. Hopefully, oh, don't hit me! Whoa, crap, okay. Holy shit. He's close, he's close. Ah, shit. He's right on my tail now. How much did that hurt? That didn't actually hurt that much. It only took me down to yellow, which is pretty good. This is a long, long fight. <laughs> oh my god, look at his face. That's a scary face. Nice. Looks like he's dead. And something has fell off the book bookshelf. Giant snake got nothing. Let's say that again. Can we inspect the actual snake? Has he got anything fancy to give us? Okay, so something fell off the bookshelf there. It's a book, it looks like. Um, Eagle of South, Wolf of North. I think we had one. We've had one of these before. And when we opened it, um, there was a coin inside. So we'll try that again. If we examine it, we turn it towards the pages. Examine. Check. Yeah. Okay, so we got another medal. We've got two of them now. And I think... Um, these may be used in the graveyard, like, as you head towards the residence. Because there's a gravestone that's got quite a few circles in, the, in, in one of the gravestones. And I think you can place things in it, so maybe we can use that there. Just looking around on the map a second, just to check where we need to go. I think this door is just going to unlock it. The knob is broken. It doesn't look like it will open. Okay, so we can't go back that way. Alright guys, we've cleared that room now. There's nothing else to be found. Um, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to the hall. Because there is a door in the hall that we haven't opened. And we're going to try this key that we've got, the helmet key, and hopefully we'll be able to open some new new doors. Just hope that killing that boss hasn't triggered any more enemies to spawn. Um, I don't think there's any more alternate routes to get back, other than going through the way we came. And the way we came, we had a crazy zombie in our face, so we've got to be pretty careful now heading back. And we're running quite low on ammo. We fired a lot of bullets at that um, snake. So let me just check which way is the best way to go. I think if we just run straight um, and go through this door, we'll avoid that zombie that was in here. And um, I don't know, I don't know exactly where we're going to come out here. Oh, uh, coming up by where the crows are. I was just checking the map again a second. I was getting a bit disorientated on which way we is the best way to go. So those crows still are not trying to kill us, which is good. Because um, they've just been sitting up there for a while now, squawking. Alright, so we're back here again. Now, what I want to do is, I want to go back in the dining room, go through to the hall. And we'll check the opposite side of the hall. And see if there's um, any doors we can open. Right, this is the door I was thinking of. So we use the mansion key. Cool. So we open up another door. So there is still use for this key, otherwise we would have discarded it right there. 
Okay, so there's some kind of test tube thing going on there. There's a book there. There's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can, I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. Okay, so there's a secret behind the painting. There's some kind of internal organ inside. You, can t you can't tell whether it came from a human or an animal. No. Um... What have we got here? Like, there's, a, there's, a, there's quite a few paintings. I think this must be the art room because there is paintings. So it's the globe. Okay. I think he said black and white painting, didn't it, on that note? I'm not seeing anything else in that little square section, so we're going to go down the corridor, I think. Actually, right there. There is something to be found still here. Okay, we got an ink ribbon. Um, for the moment, I'm not going to pick that up because we've only got one slot left, and I don't. I want to be able to pick up something if we come across anything else. So we'll go through the store first. Maybe we'll find the painting in here that's got the secret behind it. Okay, there's a zombie right there. We'll leave him alive because um, he's a slow one, and um, hopefully he won't get in our way too much. We, actually, we might have to kill him because it's quite a small room. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> um, there's a box there. What's this box? Let's check out this box in the corner. Alright, so it's another one of those boxes, it looks like, where you can push buttons on it. So um, we'll take this over here for a second. We'll look at it. Let's examine it. Um, jewelry box. There's a round res recession approximately 4 centimeters in diameter. Okay, so we've got this uh, medallion. I don't think this will fit. But we can try it, I guess. No. Alright, so we've got nothing on us we can use to open this jewelry box. I'm thinking maybe um, we need to put obviously put something inside it. We might have something in the box that can fit in there. We've got a gem that we've had for a long time. A blue gem that might fit in there. So um, for now, I think we are mostly done in this little section. Because, let me just check this, is there anything you can use in the curtain? Right, there is um, a cure poison box there as well, so maybe we're going to encounter something soon that might poison us and then we'll have to come in here to cure it if we're not too careful. Uh, so I think there's still some more rooms we haven't checked out on the um, top floor. There is one to the west, on the, um, I think that's the ground floor actually. If we go to the top floor and we'll check it out and get in the map. Yeah, yeah, that was the top floor actually. So we're going to head towards that room on the left. I think we, we've been near that recently, so I don't know why I didn't check it out. I'm quickly going to head back over there and see if we can access it now. So if we go through the, the further door... Now we followed this round. Oh yeah, of course. We were here like at the start of this video. I don't know why I didn't check it out because we were right next to it. And um, there's a door here. Yeah, okay, so we unlocked this door. So we've unlocked all the doors now with this key, so we're gonna discard it, that's good. Get some more inventory space. Something just moved. Whoa. Let's follow me around the room. Okay, guys, just before we do carry on in here, I'm going to quickly go back to the chest because we're right next to it. All right, guys, I've just been back to the aim chest and emptied the inventory a little bit. So we've got plenty of space now to pick things up. All right, what have we got here? We've got this um, eagle. It's like following us around the room as we move. So let's start looting, thi looting things and then um, we'll look around and see how we can figure out what looks like a puzzle. Um... Something flashing over there. There we go, another, another dagger. I think we've got quite a few defensive items now as well, which is pretty good. Oh, what's this? Mail to the Chief of Security. X day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. 
one low stars to the estate oh shit and obtain bows bows raw combat data against stars collect two embryos of each mutated specimens as, as samples excluding the tyrant dispose of the tyrant ensure complete disposal of the arclay laboratory including all personnel and test animals disguise their deaths as an accident when the above procedures are executed, report to the headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedures by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella Headquarters. Oh shit. Okay, so us being here, that was no accident. We were like, like kind of tricked to be here. Um, Let's look at this. Can we, can we inspect the eagle? Doesn't look like we can. Um, what is a light switch here? Can we turn it on? There's a switch here. Press it. Yes. Okay, maybe we can see something now better. Okay, the eyes are flashing on the um, the deer on the on the wall. Can we do anything with that? And that one's flashing yellow. Can we push this. This. Yeah, we can. If I push this towards it, can we reach the um, the flashing? Let's try this out. A glowing yellow jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Yes. It's attached to something and refuses to budge. Okay, look at that. If you um depending where you stand, if the eagle looks at it, it seems like it flashes. If it, if it's not, it doesn't. So the jewel sits in the eye, so I'm I'm kind of like standing a bit further back now, so the jewel is not flashing. So if we see if we can take it out now. Hey, okay. So as long as the eagle is not looking directly at the um, the jewel, you can grab it. Um, okay. And I think there was one flashing on the other side of the room. See if we can kind of bring the... I, just, I don't think we can get behind the, um, the drawers, to be honest, to bring it over there. Oh, no, there's another, there's another set of drawers here. <laughs> That's nice that they um, placed it there for us. See if we can get back on this one. Now, maybe we need to push it a bit more to the left, and stand, so we can stand in a certain position so that the eagle can't see. Actually, you know what? If we stand over here, bring it over. When you go underneath the eagle, he stops looking. If we get up here quickly, and look at it. There we go. A jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Yes, please. So we got some jewels right here. Um, let's try these jewels on the um, on the box. See if that works. No, we can't combine it. How about the red one? Ooh, hoo, hoo, well, it works. Good. What do we have inside? Select the piece. Okay, we have to do like a jigsaw. It looks like. So let's get the first piece. Um, place the piece. Okay, so we have to fit it in. Um, this is going to take some time, I think. <laughs> Let's just try and put it in any places first, see what happens. Can you rotate? Yeah, you can. I think we might have it almost done. If I put this piece... Oh, I can't put it in. Maybe if I tweak a few of the pieces, I can fit it in. Because it doesn't look like they're in straight, if you know what I mean. And get this one and wedge this one kind of yeah okay there's a more, lot more space to fit stuff in there so if i um get this one again kind of wedge it over there now this last piece should be able to fit in there i mean it's not clean looking is it but i think that fits hey there we go there's a brooch inside okay i have no idea what to do with a brooch what the hell do i do it looks like there might be a key attached to it or something we check it yeah okay change into a key what, what key is that? I have no idea what key that is. Emblem key. Ah, you know what? I remember there was a door now. I remember there's a door um, with a that was said something about a keyhole or a doorknob with a the family emblem on it. So we'll probably use that on there. The history is as is as old as Raccoon City. And now we've got two gems now. Still, a yellow one, and we've got a blue one in the chest. 
I think the blue one, yellow ones might be used on the tiger head in the small room that we came across quite a long time ago and we didn't know what to do in there. It said something about his eyes like having so sockets. So what I might do before we go and check out what this key does, we'll take the, um, the yellow gem and the blue gem to the tiger head and stick it in the head and see if that does anything. So we're still pretty low on ammo so we gotta be careful on the routes that we take now and hope that there's not many zombies in the way so we've got the um the blue gem and the yellow gem at the moment let's head out towards the um the room where i think we might have to use it try and find where it is on the map first okay so it's not actually that far i think we just go around this corner yeah i know where we're going oh fuck oh, that's that's so shit that is so shit <laughs> they're they they're so deadly Maybe we don't go that, that way back now. Might be a safe choice. Um, okay, so if we go back this way. Down this little tiny corridor in here. This should be now. It should be like a little tiger statue inside. We try and put the gems inside the eyes. So if we look at it first. There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Here we go. So we've got blue. He's got a blue eye now. No. He's turning. Where's he going? He's giving us shotgun ammo. <laughs> um, okay. He's going to turn back, I guess. So this looks like an optional um, thing right here. And if we give him the yellow eye, he might turn around the other side and give us something else. Maybe some pistol ammo or a new gun, maybe. I don't know. Be interesting. What do we have? We have a compact disc. What the hell is on that? The MO disc. Do we have a disc player? Like it's a CD or a computer we can use that on? Okie dokie. Let's examine this quickly. MO disc. It's got 1200 written on it. If we check it. It appears to be a disc for re rebooting a system of some sort. Okay, so if, it, if it, we come across like a lab or something we need to go into and reboot, we might use this. Okay guys, seeing as we're safe in this little square section for a second, I'm going to end it here guys, and um, in the next part we'll go towards that door that's got the family emblem on it, and we'll use the new key that we just got, the um, the family key, the emblem key, and hopefully that might work on the door. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!